the prince of all miners. Today we're going to be focusing on security and not luxury. So for those fancy cats, sorry. So this is your ordinary Minecraft house. Not that much security besides a fence, as you can see. But we are about to change that. Welcome to the state of the art vault of all miners. Uh, I call that because no mob can actually penetrate it. And today you're gonna learn why. At day, it's a peaceful looking house with a little bit lava. At night, it's a fortified base with turrets. So far, the first thing that you're supposed to do is uh, dig a trench. Uh, that's the size of a square or however the shape of your house is and then fill it up with lava second thing you must do is place six sticky pistons around a block this is useful if you have the protective turrets add-on which I advise to get cause it's a pretty good way to protect yourself from mobs Initially for this base to work you're going to need a daylight sensor and a lot of redstone and sticky pistons. What I am currently doing right now makes it so that in the daytime the turret is blocked and in the nighttime it is opened. While I'm finishing up on the construction I'll be telling you why this defense is superior to all others. And if you object to my statement, you can uh, write it down in the comment section below and share your knowledge of which defense is better. On my opinion, the reason why this defense is better is because it can shoot at any angle. These turrets, are, they have a 360 degree turn. They can also shoot things that are flying above them like phantoms. This add-on brings a variety of turrets ranging from shulker projectiles to ones that actually shoot lightning. Another bonus of this defense is its defense against endermen. No matter how endermen uh, teleport, the shark or projectile still follows their trail until it hits them. You can strategically place them around your house or even your village if you're living in one. Just to repeat what I said before, we're going to be focusing on security and not luxury. This house is not going to be looking like the fanciest, but at least it's going to protect you from any type of mob. I feel like I've talked a lot about this mod, so let me just give some helpful tips to those who don't have the mod. A good way to protect yourself in Minecraft is to place a lot of torches around your house. Reason to this is that mobs require a light level of 7 or less to spawn. This means that mobs cannot spawn with a 7 of lit torch. Let me just switch off the always day setting so I can show you how this works. This defense also works perfectly without the protective turret add-on. But it's just that the protective turret add-on shoots at the mobs making sure that they can't come close. There is one minor setback to this mod. It replaces the shulker, which you can find in the end world. I hate it when it starts raining on my parade. Another way to improve your house is to use beacons or continents. Uh, you can watch my video of how to make a beacon. It'll show you how to make a beacon. Why I say this is because beacon can grant you a lot of power. You can use the regeneration power in case you get injured somehow. So far this is the last turret post I'm going to make. Then we are continuing on with the other construction. Now assuming that you actually have the mod, you can do this with any type of block except for terracotta. The next thing that you have to do is really crucial to how you get in and get out of your base. You need to build like a drawbridge except it's, in, it's nailed to the floor. This way you are able to jump and actually land safely either on the grass or on the slime block or behind the 
slam block itself. This is helpful if your base is near a lot of spiders. They won't be able to go into your house while your base. Next thing you need to do is place a lot of sticky pistons at the edge of your house. Then you also put fences on top of those sticky pistons. This allows it so that in the daytime the fences are drawn down and you can move freely and in the nighttime it's auto it's it's an automated system. So your fence the fence comes back up and that way other mobs that that you that you feel like they can actually cross through your border can't. Another thing that you must be careful of is how you place your pistons. They must not come in contact with the other daylight sensors or it will mess up the whole system. Trust me, you do not want to have fences that come up in the daytime and come down in the nighttime. It's really frustrating. Another way to secure your house is to make a custom teleporter which you can learn how to do in my first video in YouTube. As you can see now, some of the blocks from the turrets are retracting because it's about to get to, it's getting dark now. As I was saying, you can use the teleporter to transport you to another base or to another safe place that you have made for yourself. That way mobs cannot harm you. Another thing that you must do that is helpful to you is to place grass blocks before it and after it. That way you, you yourself can't get in if it's closed and other mobs can't get in if it's closed. Another thing that you must take into consideration is that each weather affects the daylight sensor. So that's why I'm trying to keep it a clear weather all times. As I said before, you need to have a lot of torches to prevent mobs from spawning in your base or near it. Another thing that you can do to protect your base is pretty much the cruelest, but you should place a lot of villagers near your base and let every other mob deal with them. And when you notice that they've been all converted into zombies and there's too much of them and bail out of there quick. Forgot to mention that the drawbridge just retracted. As you'll notice, the piston that is by the edge of the daylight center will not rise up. I don't know why I'll try and fix that problem, but so far the easiest thing that you can do for yourself is place another fence on top of it. If you want to try and make your base look fancy, you can try and hide the redstone, but try not to cut it off from the daylight sensor or any other redstone powered uh, item. Oh, oops, I kind of made a mistake. What you're supposed to do is it lets you uh, go through your house in and out. You're supposed to put in other pistons right by the edge of the other one so that when you try to go in and out of your house, it's, it's possible. As you can notice, one of the turrets have picked up a target and they're looking for them. Uh, these shulker projectiles, right, when they hit their enemies, they make them levitate into the air and they drop them from a high height and they die. Guys, I don't want to lie, but from here on out, it's going to be more fancy than security because I'm already finished with all the security. So for all the fancy audience out there, uh, you can stay in for this because this is quite a treat and for those who are not who don't think that they're fancy or don't like to be that fancy you can still learn a lot of things from the rest of this video because it also includes a lot of redstone sometimes the shulkers tend to hit each other if they're not strategically placed so right now I kind of made a mistake but it still works perfectly it also raises a point to what I wanted to say. If you're going to make this in a village, you must pre you must be aware because sometimes if you don't place them properly, they will hit the villagers. Also, try not to block uh, the daylight centers. If you're going to place a block above them, it'll be best if you place a glass block or not even place a block above it at all. Uh, I'm not really a good house decorator, but I hope you like my design of this house. 
and if you have some things that you wanted me to add to this house write it down on the comment section below another thing that i left out about this mod is that the tires can actually be upgraded so if you have this mod and you didn't know that you can upgrade them you can use gunpowder to upgrade them for the first level to the second level and then you use diamond to upgrade them again with each upgrade you increase its health its fire rate and its range the next thing that i'm going to do for my house is a really really great idea for people that like uh, making houses in minecraft i'm going to be making an automated light system so when it gets dark your lights switch on automatically for this to work you're going to need a redstone lamp and also a daylight sensor something that we have been focusing on this video quite a lot To make this work, you're gonna have to place a daylight sensor directly on top of a redstone lamp. That way, it switches on automatically. I think I said automatically quite a lot in this video. While I'm finishing up on the construction of the lights, I'm gonna be talking about something uh, quite important here. That thing that I'm going to talk about, which is important, is subscribing down below and also write a comment and leave a like. It's really helpful to the channel and also a generous thing to do. I guess now we're moving into the morning since the moon is going down. Another thing that you can do for your roof if you think it's not complete is you can place glass blocks above it. Don't forget to turn the daylight sensor into a nighttime sensor cause that way your lights come on when it's dark and it's in daytime they're off. Since we are coming to the end of the video and I have to say these couple of words and you probably guessed it already, uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like below and also comment if you liked the video or not. And also it's also motivative to me for me to let me make more videos because it's really helpful. Guys you're going to witness a perfect demonstration of what these turrets can actually do. These final words which I can't stress enough is to Stay in touch and ring the notification bell if you have subscribed.